guys, it's Brynn, and it's the last day of Summer Snow Over Week. So I love ending this week on a Q&A because I feel like we spend the whole week like celebrating going back to school and doing fun things to get in the mood to go back to school. And then the, we end the week trying to figure out how to tackle all the things we're absolutely terrified about. So with that being said, you guys sent me in tons of questions and I'm so excited to answer them. And I'm gonna try to answer as many as I can. So I'm not gonna ramble too much. Fingers crossed. <laughs> How to make friends easily if you're really shy and how to come out of your shell. Also things to talk about because I'm the most uninteresting person ever. <laughs> no you're not. One of the most important things I think in this scenario is just to be nice to everyone. Like I'm probably the worst person to ask about this question because I'm terrible at like reaching out and meeting people and making friends. But I think if you're just nice then you'll immediately be more approachable and people will want to talk to you even if you are a little more on the shy side. As long as you're nice and you're not like rude to them when they do actually make an effort to talk to you or when you make an effort to talk to them, like as long as you're kind and you're nice, then it doesn't really matter what you're talking about, I don't think. Most important thing you learn from high school is always have a plan B for literally everything. I'm starting my last year of school this week Congrats. <laughs> Any advice on how to figure out what you want to do after school? My advice is just don't force yourself to stick to one lane. Um, it's okay to not know what you want to do. There's so much out there that you've probably never even heard of and you're not going to hear of until you actually just try things. You shouldn't feel like you have to be stuck with the first decision you make when you get out of school. I think that it's okay to try some things out and get a better sense of what you actually want to do because you're never gonna know until you actually try it. What was your worst moment in high school? That would definitely have to be getting back college letters, 100%. <laughs> What's the best advice you have for people going back to school and aren't excited about it? I find just getting excited about the little things helps tremendously, whether it's like picking out an outfit in the morning or doing your makeup in the morning is one thing that I really love or having something after school that you're really excited about, whether it's an extracurricular activity or going home to write or draw or cook or whatever it is, like just finding something in your day every day to look forward to that gets you out of bed every morning because even if you don't enjoy school, you at least have something in your day that you look forward to. How do you not procrastinate? One way is to be extremely anxious like I am and just be so afraid about not having something done on time. That works pretty well, but also not great for your mental health. <laughs> I'm also a fan of like delayed gratification, so like not allowing yourself to watch that TV show or eat that candy or whatever it is until you're done doing what you have to do. And also just like taking the time to plan out what you have to do, how long it's gonna take, putting breaks in there so you're not doing like four hours of work without a break, and just being hard on yourself and holding yourself accountable because you're gonna have to learn it eventually and better now than later. Best place to get affordable but cute clothes. Forever 21, Zara, H&M, sales, anywhere. Tips for making senior year memorable. Definitely take lots of pictures, hang out with your friends, um, and do things that you always wanted to do but just haven't been able to do yet. Like go to a concert that you've always wanted to go to or just go take a road trip somewhere or go visit something that you've never been to before. Um, just finding things that maybe you've always wanted to do but you haven't had the chance yet and make time for those. What was your favorite and least favorite class you took in college? My favorite was probably like my intro to fiction writing class and my least favorite was probably statistics. What do you do after a long day at school to cheer yourself up? And did you do many extracurricular clubs while you were in school? To cheer myself up at the end of a long day, um, watch Netflix is a great one. Online shopping, also a great one. Just having like shows on TV to look forward to like every Monday or every Tuesday, that always really makes me feel better and like get me through the day. Extracurricular clubs, um, in high school I was in a lot of like choirs and stuff. I did art club for a while, I did book club for a while, but yeah I mostly did singing things and then in college I didn't do anything like school related. All my extracurriculars were like me at home painting or like watching TV. <laughs> all right, I hope I answered all your questions okay. Sorry this is kind of rushed. I actually have to get back to work and I'm looking at me checking my watch. I never wear a watch. So yeah, I actually have to run back now, but I'm so excited I got to film this video for you guys. Thank you so much for asking questions. It makes it 
immensely more fun and I really hope you enjoyed this week because I enjoyed this week. Um, I loved filming these videos for you guys. I'm really proud of them and I'm really happy with them. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week with another video and I will see you next year for another Summer's Now Over week. Hopefully, fingers crossed that I'm still around and relevant at least a little bit. It's insane to me that I've been doing this for over a year. It's just crazy that I'm doing this again. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Bye. So I love ending this week on a Q&A. You guys sent me in, whether it's like an extracurricular, like, <laughs> all my extracurriculars was like me. Why did I pick this up?